We're here at the start of the Colorado Trail. It's like, I can't actually run it. From Durango, almost live. It's a running vlog. As if we need another running vlog. Seriously, why do people keep making running vlogs? They say, if you want change, you should be the change you want to see in the world. You know, be part of the solution and not the problem. Yeah, well, here we are with another running vlog. Anyway, today I'm filming this one from inside of the van. I'm parked at the trailhead for the Colorado Trail. Stephanie is out running a segment on the Colorado Trail, which is good because one of us should probably actually run the Never Summer 100K. Maybe I'll pivot and make this running vlog about her. Today's video comes to you from the van, and I was thinking maybe I should be doing all of my running vlogs from the van. It's a tried and true RunTuber technique to do all of your videos with the same background and the same setting. It almost makes the space itself a character. Whoa, 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 do not be alarmed. Yes, I'm filming in a van, but that doesn't mean there won't be a shot of making coffee in this running vlog. I mean, it's basically a rule. And the van has a propane stove, so I can heat some water and make some pour over. Yes, 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 I'm injured again, but this time it's really not my fault. Balancing on a bazoo ball started getting too easy, so I decided to do squats on a bazoo ball, holding a 25 pound weight. I've since learned that the safer way to make balancing exercises harder is to just close your eyes. Who knew? So it appears that I strained something in my foot really badly. It kind of felt like a stress fracture, but the x-rays show no break. I am kind of offended that my soft tissue is unremarkable. I bet my mom would disagree. So as far as goals go, I am already failing on my second goal of posting content regularly. All things considered, it's been an okay time to be injured. I've been absolutely slammed trying to finish this little trail documentary about Sage Canada getting back into racing. I've just had no time to make a serious runner video, no less train for a 100K, uh, and still be able to finish the trail doc. I mean, there's got to be a limit to how much content a single human being can create. Then again, no human is limited. If you follow me or Sage anywhere on the interwebs, you're probably sick of hearing us talk about the film. So what's one more time? If you haven't already, head on over to the Mutt Running YouTube channel and watch Starting Over. I honestly had a lot of concerns about how this video was going to turn out, but people seem to like it. Uh, trail documentaries typically feature a lot of beautiful landscape shots and highly stylized uh, beauty shots. And this film had a lot of footage in it that wasn't actually running footage. Uh, it was kind of story heavy, so I was honestly concerned that it was too much outside of the trail doc genre but then again there are drone shots and there is a shot of sage making coffee and you know just like a running vlog you can't have a trail doc without a shot of making coffee there are some technical things that will always bug me and i just ran out of time like i didn't have time to go frame by frame and paint out the lens dust that snuck into some of the shots uh, we had a deadline. We were having a screening at Runner's Roost in Boulder. This is Steven Ganoza. He created Woo! this film. And I think that there'll always be things in the film that bug me, but perfection is the enemy of done. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this running vlog, devoid of much running footage. Uh, check out the Mutt Running YouTube channel to watch starting over. Uh, be sure to subscribe whether or not you like this video because I will be getting back to Serious Runner content soon and I know everybody is anxious for Serious Runner to be back. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. <sighs> Gotta work on that core because if there's one thing that drives YouTube subscriptions, it's six-pack abs.